Every year, Eric heads out to the Specialized Dealer product launch to get an early look at the new bikes and riding gear for the year. One of the best parts about the event, though, is catching up with the people that design, build, and market the products at the Specialized headquarters in Morgan Hill, California. And one of the coolest teams at Specialized is the group of women responsible for the women's product lineup. So, I'd like to introduce you to the Specialized Women's Product Team. I am a bike hipster. My name is Keely Shannon, and I do women's product marketing. My name is Stephanie Kaplan, and I'm the Women's Roadline Product Manager. My name is Lyriel Jordan. I'm the Product Manager for Women's Fitness. My name now is Amy Nelson. I got married three weeks ago. I'm the Women's Mountain Bike Product Line Manager. My name is Erin Sprague. I am the Category Leader for Women's Cycling and Specialized. So my job is to make the best bikes and equipment for women and also get as many women as possible loving cycling as much as we do. Well, Erin is like the, the El Capitan and then I'm like the, I'm the first mate of the road division. I'm in charge of all the women's mountain bikes. So from Micah Hardtail to Jinx, Jet, Rumor, Fate, and Era. I work with the product managers on all bikes and all equipment and research uh, what the riders need and want. I'm in charge of our fitness bikes um, from every level, from developing the frame to specking all the parts and working with color and graphics to make sure we have the best looking bikes. I grew up in upstate New York in a really small town. I grew up in Des Moines, Iowa. I was born in West Virginia, but I grew up in Birmingham, Alabama. Right outside of Madison, Wisconsin, a nice little Norwegian town called Stoughton. I grew up in Mandan, North Dakota. We were rambunctious kids, always outside. We built dirt pump tracks in our woods right by our house. and So I was outdoors a lot as a kid, you know, all year round. Running, biking, skiing, four seasons, we were always outside. Went up to Minneapolis for school and lived there for eight years. Worked for Eric's. I was really big into gymnastics and then I, I quit and I needed a new sport but I didn't want to do basketball and all the school sports. When I was in college, I was a competitive runner and I just kind of wanted a new challenge. I was a vo volley volleyball player in college and um, my mom said when the season was over, she's like, you gotta get a job. So my dad has always been riding. He got me on a bike at age 11 and I just picked it up from there and took off with it and haven't put it down since. So thanks dad. <laughs> I was in the Peace Corps for 06 to 08. So I was 65 kilometers to the nearest uh, city, so for electricity and internet and stuff. So I would ride back and forth, or I would ride to see friends or to uh, literacy classes and stuff. And it was just how I got around. So I got a road bike and signed up for an Ironman and thought that that was normal. There was a coffee shop and a bike shop opening. Started working in their coffee shop my freshman year of college. Got a rock hopper, women's rock hopper. Totally got into it. That's all I did. That's all I could think about. It's all, I mean, just, it totally changed my life. Sleep in on a Saturday morning, drink some coffee, and then gather a bunch of friends and go to Santa Cruz and just ride mountain bikes all day long. The sweetest piece of single track, probably up in the mountains, nice uh, plush dirt, firmed out corners, a little bit of whoops epic scenery. It's the Alpine Boat Basin area and it's a pretty much car free uh, road. Two lanes, you go along the Palisades, there's huge like mountains up to your left, the Hudson River to your right, you pass under the George Washington Bridge and you can see it span all the way across the Hudson. It's so stunningly beautiful and then there's like gypsy donut with like organic ba maple bacon donut. I've been in full on Ironmans where I have like pieces of chocolate cake, muffins, donuts, like in the middle of the Ironman, I need calories. And then finish with a burger and a beer. I was home last two weekends ago and I did it and I swear if you had looked at me when I was riding I'd just be like, like this huge smile on my face. Definitely a shorts, <laughs> baggy shorts. Oh, bibs. I like bibs. Definitely bibs. Bibs. Hookup bibs. I'm super excited about our new SL bib that has the hookup. When a woman has to go to the bathroom on a long ride, this has been like a challenge in cycling since the beginning of time. 
So we have actually invented a really simple hook on our bib shorts now that you literally just undo. So there's a little magnetic piece that makes it easier to get it on and off. I can wear bibs mountain biking now and you know quickly drop short. <laughs> I'd be the cranks, putting out all the power, man. That's where it all comes from. Well, I definitely wouldn't be the saddle. <laughs> Probably the wheels. A command post. Gravity dropper, there you go. Maybe the rear derailleur. Shimano Durius rear derailleur. Premium, respected by everyone. Hardest working part on the bike, not gonna get by without me. So my favorite dessert is chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate, chocolate anything frozen yogurt, but I don't eat it as a dessert, I eat it for lunch. Can I say that I would skip dessert and I would eat french fries? I love anything that has uh, coconut or cinnamon, but not necessarily together. Basically I like a whole lot of southern gravy food, smothered stuff. <laughs> Tool song, probably uh, Ladder Alice. I don't know, I've been really addicted to the Eagles of Death Metal lately. I'm going with Eye of the Tiger. Bum, bum, bum. I am a big Madonna fan, so... Madonna's Like a Prayer. You know, Like a Prayer is a pretty good one. Life is a mystery, everyone must stand alone. I'm not a singer. I hear you call my name, and it feels like home. It's like a prayer, my voice will take you there, just like a dream. Best part of my job is I get to talk about bikes all day. Someone's paying me to talk about bikes. Getting to tell people about cool sh Maybe I shouldn't say sh Meeting people who love bikes and are passionate about it. When you meet people who are really excited about riding, it kind of get re-inspired and like they make you even more excited. Definitely getting new riders on, on bikes and really addicted to this great sport that we're all not just passionate about, but like obsessed with. Especially as we're obsessed with cycling. So.